everybody. I, I've got a chance to already go around and kind of personally speak with each one of you. I do want to thank Outback Steakhouse and Phil and WASK for making this event possible. But like they said, today is really about you and your service and the sacrifice that you have made and that your families have made. And uh, Mayor Dennis and myself are just absolutely honored and thrilled to be here uh, with you today in a, in a small way to say thank you. Uh, without our veterans and the things that have been done over the years, we simply wouldn't have the freedoms that we have, the opportunities that we have in America still wouldn't be that shining light of uh, justice and liberty for the world. And we can't thank you uh, enough for what you have done and what your families have done. But we do hope that you enjoy uh, the food today. I'm sure I'll see several of you again uh, tomorrow down at Reedley Plaza or out at the Veterans Home at some of the uh, Veterans Day uh, ceremonies around the community to, again, to help commemorate, uh, remember, and thank you for uh, what you have done and what our folks in service and in uniform continue to do to this day. So uh, please enjoy your meal today, and uh, we'll see some of you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. I also want to introduce Mayor Dennis of West Lafayette. Thank you for coming today. Well, again, they're going to hear pretty much the same thing for me as what, as what Tony said. Uh, you know, oftentimes we take our freedoms for granted. We take the sacrifices that are made on the part of our soldiers and our armed forces for granted as well. Uh, so much in this country gets criticized. There's so many things that, uh, that people seem to think that we can do better. And they're probably right. There probably are things that we can do better. But at the end of the day, America is the freest country in, in the world. Uh, the standards that we set in this country are being emulated by countries all around the world. And the reason why we have those freedoms is because of the men and women of our armed services and the sacrifices that you've made. Again, just a personal anecdote, my father was a pilot in World War II, and he also flew in Korea and Vietnam. My brother was a Vietnam veteran, and I am a military brat. Uh, I was born and raised on military bases, so I absolutely understand what the military philosophy all is. And both Tony and I uh, made our own small sacrifices as police officers in the Lafayette Police Department. So again, we understand what you're going through. We understand the sacrifices that you make. And there is no way for us to actually return to you the thanks that we feel. Uh, going through things like this and with what Phil's done at the Outback is just one small gesture that we can make. But again, our hearts, our souls, and our prayers are with you and your families. We thank you very much for the sacrifices that you make. And we definitely, most certainly, thank you for our freedom. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce to you the president of our company, WASK, Mr. John Shures. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here um, for your service to this great country and, and all you've uh, given us. And um, we, we greatly appreciate it. And as uh, Mayor Dennis said, there's really no way we can pay you back. So simply thank you. I'd also like to thank Phil Callahan and his staff for volunteering their time. I think this is a wonderful thing that they do. Um, we're happy to, to partner with them on this. I'd like to thank Mayor Rosworski and Mayor Dennis for being here, and our staff as well for helping put this together. Chris Hahn, our promotions director, uh, Randy Jones, a WSK specialist and on air personality, Seamus, who's our operations manager from WKOA, and Brian Green, our director of sales. So thank you very much, folks, for helping out with this. And I'd like to uh, say the blessing for this meal. Dear Lord, please bless our courageous men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Keep them safe from harm and bring them home safely to their loved ones. Please bless those gathered here today, our family and friends, and bless this meal which we are about to receive. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, folks. Enjoy your meal.